It's a very short piece. But um, it's nice to see everybody here tonight. This is the uh, first of two U of I jazz trombone ensembles, uh, groups we're really proud of that have had a lot of success in the in the trombone world, in the jazz trombone ensemble world, and um, we're proud of all these all these young musicians who have participated, will be participating in tonight. It's nice to see all of you here. I'm Jim Pugh, I'm the professor of jazz trombone here. So these all these fine people you see up here are mad at me most of the time um, for something. Anyway, I guess we're supposed to tell you to please turn off your cell phones. Uh, photography's okay, but not flash photography. Um, we're streaming this to all, anybody out there in streaming land. Nice to see you. Hope you enjoy the performance. Um, let me see, what else to say? I think that's about it. I'm going to hand this over. This group has been under the direction of the Jazz Trombone teaching assistant. Um, the illustrious Mr. Richard Dole, who's standing here beside me, and I'm going to hand the mic over to him, and he can tell you more about this group and what they're going to do. How about a hand for Jim Pugh? <laughs> We're going to start with some music, and then we'll talk later.
That was Obelisk, arranged by Brian Patterson, our lead trombone player. This is JTE Tube. We're very happy that you are here. Uh, we have a very cool, I think cool, and I think everybody agrees here, because I think they do. I don't really pay attention too much to what they say, but they seem to agree that this is a very cool set that we have presented for you. So uh, the next two, oh Brian, do you want to say something about Obelisk? And we're going to move on. I'm going to have Ian's going to be our master of ceremony here. But I have to do something here. <laughs> so, Ian, let's talk about the next tune. Okay. Is that good? Okay. Yeah, we are, we are JTE2 uh, under the direction of Rich Dole, TA under Jim Pugh. This next tune is an original, oh, is it original? Yeah. No, it's not, excuse me. Um, this is an arrange original arrangement by J.J. Johnson, our beloved hero of jazz trombone. Um, it's originally for eight trombones, I believe, boys, right? Yeah, and he uh, condensed it down to four. We only have four trombones this semester, um, but we're small and mighty, missing one. It's okay. We're great, aren't we? Thank you. Yeah, so we're going to play No Moon at All. Thank you. 
No Moon at All, arranged by J.J. Johnson. This next tune we're going to play is from an indie band from Japan. Can you believe that? Jazz trombone ensembles kind of have a history of taking well-known or beautiful compositions and arranging them for four or five trombones and, in Frank Niemeyer's words, kind of destroying it. But that's okay. We still play pretty, don't we now? <laughs> this band is called Lamp, and they are from Japan. Like I said, the song is called Yume Utsutsu. I believe it translates to, uh, I think, half asleep. And it's a little bit of a minimalist, but very pretty. This is Yume Utsutsu. Welcome back, Rich Dahl on the shaker. The lemon shaker. The iconic lemon shaker. Yume Utsutsu by Lamp. <laughs> I've got this, I got this friend of mine. He's, a, he's just a couple feet away. His name is Adam Aronson. And uh, he's going to introduce this next tune that we are about to play for you. Uh, hi, I'm Adam Aronson, as Ian stated. Uh, and the reason why I'm introducing the next tune is because I wrote it. Uh, this tune is a song I wrote in my apartment that is entitled Legends 3. And that name actually comes from the auto-generated title of a voice memo on my phone that I was just uh, screwing around in my instruments and figured out something and then arranged it out for the band. So I hope you enjoy Legends 3. Thank <laughs> you. 
about another hand for Adam Aronson? He brought in a chart last semester that actually stopped the stream because it was based on, uh, it was a Mario Kart video game theme song and YouTube flagged it as a copyright issue. So, um, Legends probably won't sue us for that, right? Maybe I'll sue Legends. Well, maybe he'll sue us, great, who knows. Well, before I, I invite uh, Brian over here to introduce the last, or the second to last tune, I wanna introduce this band because uh, they've all worked hard. It's been a real pleasure uh, working with them this entire year. And I thought maybe, maybe we would crest this point where the band would play and sound better than they looked, and then Ian wore this beautiful shirt. Look at this. <laughs> so once again, we are prettier than we sound, but we sound really darn good. I got to tell you that. So let's start over here with, yes, okay. Thank you for clapping that. <laughs> Start over here on the rhythm section on piano, Cameron Obrecht. <laughs> on bass, Adrian Russo. <laughs> Holding us together and generally just being a nice guy. And he developed a mullet this semester. I don't think it had anything to do with us, but he's swinging and he sounds great. This is Toby Miller on drums. Last semester, we had two of our players that um, left us, and they, want, well, one graduated and one went to Costa Rica, and uh, Ian says, I know a guy. And so he gets on the phone, and next thing I know, Jorge Alvazuriz comes here with tenor and bass trombone. Thank you for joining the group. Adam Aronson, a great writer and a, a wonderful trombone player, and not even a music major, so. Yeah. It's disturbing. Um, <laughs> our lead trombone player, Brian Pattison, and arranger, Brian Pattison, right there. He's been a source of a lot of great fun. He's a great guy, and uh, and we all like him. And it's a nice tie. Like, look at that tie. I don't know. I guess I taught you guys something this semester, huh? A little bit of style. And holding down the bass trombone and the tiny tenor trombone, Ian Leckel on bass trombone here. <laughs> You're going to hear him shine in a couple tunes. Uh, but first, Brian, why don't you come and talk to us about this particular tune? All right. Oops, sorry. So this next tune was written by one of my favorite jazz trombonists of all time, Steve Davis. Um, I had the pleasure of actually meeting him about this time last year when I was going through the whole audition circuit for school, and I was auditioning at his school, and we had a great like hour and a half Zoom lesson, taught me a lot. Uh, just all around great guy, fantastic player, one of my role models to this day. Um, took his tune Outlook, figured it would sit nicely, well, does sit nicely on the trombone because the trombones wrote it, <laughs> and... Um, yeah, so without further ado, here is Jazz Trombone Ensemble with Outlook. Thank you. 
All right, before we play our last tune, we want to say a, a nice thank you to everyone who came out to hear us play music tonight. We obviously enjoy it a lot. And without you guys, what's it, what's it for, you know? So thank you for coming out. Thank you for Rich Dole for directing us. Thank you for, yeah. Thank you, Rich. He's great. And thank you, Jim Pugh, obviously, who is our teacher. The last tune we're going to play is a composition by a very big influence and a friend of mine, Reg Dr. Reginald Chapman. He is a former alumni, or not a former alumni, he is an alumni, he's a former student, um, graduated a couple years ago, uh, and he hates when people call it Jeb Bush. So, Brian, I'm calling you out. Reggie, if you're watching, Brian calls it Jeb Bush. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this is entitled Jebish. Uh, I'm going to play a little something, band's going to play a little something, we're all going to play a little something. So stick around for a JTE 1, which has an amazing set with some amazing players. Uh, they'll write after us after a short break. So thank you once again.
Yeah, jazz ensemble. I hate the one and two thing. This is jazz on or jazz trombone ensemble orange. Uh, stick around because Jazz Trombone Ensemble Blue will be coming out and play for you uh, very soon. That was great. Um, just real quick, we're in the beginning of our sort of jazz marathon concerts here in this very this very venue. Uh, just to give you an idea of what's coming up tomorrow night, we'll be actually Rich will be back here with his uh, with his uh, fellow director Emma Taylor tomorrow night directing Jazz Band 3. Um, the following night, let me see, Friday night, the concert Jazz Band will be playing a, sp a special concert of their own music. They're going to be doing more, which I'll tell you about in a second. Uh, let me see, Saturday afternoon. I can't, you, Chip, you're going to have to help me out with what's, what's Saturday afternoon. Oh, vocal combos and which ensemble? Oh, Jazz Vocal Ensembles are Saturday afternoon, 3 o'clock right here. Saturday night, uh, a little bit of a special concert. My the, the band that I lead, the Repertory Jazz Orchestra, will be playing a concert which half of the concert is the, the band's own material, and the other half is, is sort of a, a tribute to celebration of the music of Chick Corea that we're going to be playing a very special piece that he wrote for Woody Herman's band, which is very rarely performed. Uh, the, so that should be fun. Let me see. Sunday afternoon is combos. Uh oh. Oh, combo concert two. So the uh, three or three, oh, two, two of the small groups will be playing Sunday afternoon. And then Sunday night in the Colwell Playhouse right over there is uh, New Awakenings 2, the second concert in the New Awakenings series um, with Chris McBride and a few of members of his band are coming in and doing a, a very big piece that Christian wrote, uh, which is. Um, what's it called? The, the movement revisited, revisited, um, which it it has a lot to do with the, the writings of uh, of four very important people in the the civil rights movement. So it's an incredible piece with with a big band and choruses. Uh, there's it's a cast of thousands. It's it's a very moving work. So if you uh, are free Sunday night, I would suggest highly coming to see that. Uh, Tuesday, the following Tuesday night, we have, <laughs> oh, oh, okay, Jazz Guitar Ensemble and Tito Carrillo's Combo, and then uh, the final concert, Wednesday, after um, classes are all done, will be, uh, Tito Carrillo will be leading the J Latin Jazz Ensemble, <laughs> and that's sort of the lineup for the rest of this week. A lot of really good music is going to happen right in this space here, and some of it over there. And we hope uh, hope you can get by to see it. And we're going to take about a 10-minute break now, a little bit shorter than, than usual, and uh, come back with Jazz Trombone Ensemble Blue.
So welcome back. Uh, thank you for staying. Thank you for coming to our concert. I know this is a situation where there's there's so much going on like this this point in the year, and I know I know there you have like American Airlines says when you go, we know you have choices <laughs> in your music selection. And we appreciate that you've decided to spend your evening with us tonight. Um, this is Jazz from Bone Ensemble Blue. Uh, very proud of these folks. Um, I feel like I should have, Ian should come up and do all the introductions <laughs> for this one too, because that was indeed, is indeed a lovely shirt. And uh, we thank you for that. But I'm gonna let everybody here introduce their pieces. Maybe I'll introduce this one a little bit. Um, this is an original composition of <coughs> our lead from bonus, Andrew Danforth who's standing in the middle there. He's the one with the mask. <laughs> um, and I guess this is because he grew up on a farm in downtown Indianapolis, right? Uh, <laughs> but the title of this is Homegrown. It's a lovely piece of music, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
Homegrown by Andrew Danforth. That featured Andrew, Leon on piano, Max on guitar, and Jeremiah on the other trombone, and Jacob, of course. Yeah. Oh. Well, we are Jazz Trombone Blue. How are you? This is. A lot of fun. This is a great group. It's a lot of fun. A lot of uh, really wonderful writers in this band. And uh, we're going to hear a little bit more from Andrew later. But look at that little guy there. Look at that Jeremiah. And he's something. He's uh, precious. He's precious. Absolutely precious. And he, all semester, he's been talking about, ah, I got to I got to try it, I guess. I don't know. It's no good. We're like, fine. It's no good. Bring it in. And so here is Jeremiah's no good chart on Just In Time. We hope you like it, and please, there's no dancing. I don't know if Jim mentioned that earlier. There's too many tunes that we're having that are in multimeter things, and um, you're just going to get hurt. So just sit and enjoy. <laughs> just In Time, arranged by Jeremiah St. John.
That's actually a very good arrangement of Just In Time. Yeah. Let me introduce the whole band to you. You heard uh, on that last one and the one before that, Jacob Truckenbrod over there. And you also heard from Jeremiah St. John, the arranger of that one. Our principal lead first chair high note guy, Andrew Danforth. Down in the basement with me, Kyle Hunt. On guitar, we have Max Jagu. 
on piano, Leon, Lewis, Nicole. <laughs> on bass, Jonah Larson. And Frankie Paredes on drums, also featured on that last one. So now you know our names. We also want to say that, uh, I'm sure Jim will say something a little bit, but this is Jacob's final concert with our uh, j jazz trombone ensemble. Uh, not because he got voted off. He's graduating, and he's going on to bigger and better things. Andrew Danforth also is graduating. So, yeah, amazing. I know. You know him. If you know him, it's a pretty amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Frankie. You're graduating too, right? Yeah, so we're gonna lose Frankie. And Max is graduating too? Oh, my heart says no, but the paper works in. Oh, well this is a lot of fun to work with all these people. Um, we're gonna go on now, we're gonna slow it down a little bit. Uh, Leon, our piano player, brought in a, uh, a great arrangement of a tune by a Thelonious Monk. It's called Round midnight. We hope you enjoy this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jeremiah St. John again there on the trombone. 
All right, we've got a couple more for you. The penultimate tune is Lucky Southern, arranged by my low-end friend here, Kyle Hunt. This is a great uh, Keith Jarrett tune. And uh, Kyle brought it in, and we kept working on it. He kept expanding it and added all these cool things. And well, now we're very happy to share it for you and uh, or share it with you. Here's Lucky Southern. Thank 
Kyle Hunt, nice arrangement there. We heard from Leon, I should have introduced, I should have gotten everybody's attention to look at you right at the very beginning, the beautiful cadenza there in the Keith Jarrett style there, beautiful. 
I featured Max and who else? Me? I think I did a little something, sort of. Oh, and Jeremiah again. Man, you've had a solo. On, are you graduating? Is this at your last concert too? Every song. All right. Jim, would you have anything to say for our last tune? Okay. Um, you texted me? Okay. Well, I'll look at it. Uh, this tune is a beautiful chart by Andrew Danforth. It's entitled October 25th. Now, he says that um, it was just the date he put on it because it's the date that he started the chart, October 25th. But I've known Andrew for a long time. It's a pleasure for me to be working with him in a band. He's going to go off and do great things, and I'll never get to work with him again. Uh, he'll be too good and on the upper tier of things, and I'm just, I'm in the trenches. I'm cool with that, though. That's fine. And, uh, but Andrew uh, was around before, or right when I had kids, and because uh, he was studying with me a little bit. He was hanging out and whatever. And uh, I have a son named Griffin who was born October 25th. So even though this is just an arbitrary date for Andrew, I'd like to think that he wrote it for my son, Griffin. So can we just go with that? OK, good. All right. Cool. So here's our final chart, October 25th. Thank you. 
Yeah, Jazz Trombone Ensemble, blue. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Uh, and on behalf of Jazz Trombone Ensemble, orange and blue, we thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you hopefully throughout the week. Please come back. Please come back. A lot of good stuff happening here. And we'll uh, see you. Thanks again for coming tonight. <laughs>